This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Day two of camp today for the football cats and anyone who wanted to watch could. That's because it was an open practice part of UK Fan Day. The cats worked on different sets of drills and dipped into the playbook a little bit. Head coach Mark Stoops notices the progress, but it's day two. There's still work to do. Very pleased with where we're at. I feel like we're getting a lot of work done. It's you know sluggish as you would expect. It's very hot and very humid out here, but I was pleased with our guys' effort, their attitude. They've been uh, on point with meetings and uh, taking care of business. So um, it's a good start, and that, that's all it is is a start. We've got a lot of work to go, but uh, I like where we're at physically, mentally, and uh, we're in day two. All right, before practice, fans had the opportunity to get pictures and autographs from players and coaches in Nutter Fieldhouse. Long lines, as always, with this event. Players and they always enjoy meeting the Big Blue Nation, and the fans love sharing the passion for the school with the players. All the signatures from everybody, where you kind of get to meet the people that you watch on TV every Saturday. It's a really fun experience. All right, no players were available to talk to after today's practice, but we caught up with several of them Friday at Media Day, including QB1 himself, Drew Barker. He is the starting quarterback when the Wildcats take the field September 3rd versus Southern Miss, and whether he likes it or not, most fans think it's up to him to carry Kentucky this season. Doesn't seem fair, so I asked him if he sensed the pressure. Not at all, because I've never played a football game where it's just one versus 11, but... Um, you know, I feel like it's a team sport, everything. If, even if one guy does a misassignment, a wide receiver misses a block, the whole play is, is, is over with. So um, I don't think that is, you know, really fair to say, you know, one person can, you know, you know, whatever, make or break the season. But we all have to work as a team. And if we work as a team and do everything that we've been taught and go through everything, I feel like we can have a great, great year. The Middlesbrough Yellow Jackets have not had a winning season in two years. Caleb No goes to practice with the Jackets in our 40 teams in 20 days pigskin preview series. We're slowly building each day, okay? But, but we've got to have a sense of urgency. We keep talking about it. Most of the Yellow Jacket football players were born after 1998 meaning they were not alive to see Middlesbrough win its only state title. But the legacy of the tradition-rich program lives on. My family played here, my uncles and everybody, my dad and everybody. Ball boy since I was six years old and, uh, and graduated from here. More recently, however, the Jackets have been on the flip side of that glory. The minute that the chips went down and something bad happened, um, the youth reared its head. But year after year, that youth becomes experience. Like Coach says, get 2% better every day and do everything we can to get better. One year removed from a 1 in 10 campaign, the Jackets are a team with something to prove. Yeah, we got a lot to prove, actually. And the standard is set. The goal as a team is a district championship. Hitting blocks, catching passes, and scoring touchdowns, all important parts of the equation. The execution. And they hope their new quarterback, Ethan Ellison, will be a pivotal part of that. Freeze up Elliott a little bit in the, in the open field to run the football and catch, and along with several other playmakers. Um, I think you'll see Isaiah Williams hopefully make a name for himself in the backfield this year. But they seem to believe the most important ingredient this year is something you'll never find on a stat sheet. Keep your head up, head up, head up. It's going to take everybody just keeping their heads up no matter what. Guys, good work today. Picking each other up when something goes down and we see a head drop, we got to have you know 10 or 15 others picking them up. They say when the lights come on inside Bradner Stadium this fall, it's a matter of attitude and the scoreboard will take care of itself. Come on, come on. In Middlesboro, Caleb No, WYMT Mountain Sports. And the borough will open the 2016 season with a big time rivalry versus the county school, Bell County, August 19th. One last note to Junior League Baseball Central Region, Kentucky District 7 defeats Wisconsin 15 to 2 in pool play. Matt Combs from Allen Central hit two dingers in the win today. That's sports, and we'll be back.